what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel where we have this very nice exponential question on the board that we need to unravel and the question says x x into s plus 2 into s plus 4 into s plus 6 equal to 9 and we are told to find s so how do we do that how do we do that in a very simple way I'm going to be pairing this first one and this last one. So let me bring them together. This is S into S plus C. Then before writing this other two, which is S plus 2 into S plus 4. Cool. Equal to 9. Now, we're going to be expanding. I will expand this and I will also expand this. So S times S is what? S squared plus s times c gives us 6s so we have successfully expanded these two so let's also expand these two now watch s times s gives what s squared plus now s times 4 gives 4s then plus 2 times s gives 2s then plus 2 times 4 gives what? 8. Then close your bracket and equal to 9. So let's simplify what we have on this other bracket. So this is s squared plus 6s into s squared. Now notice that this is 4s and this is 2s. They are like terms. So we can add them together. So 4s plus 6s gives 4s plus 2s give us what? 6s plus 8. Are you seeing that? Then close your bracket equal to 9. Now notice something. This is s squared plus 6s. And I also have the same thing here. s squared plus 6s. So we can easily represent that let s squared plus 6s be equal to a. That means wherever I see s squared plus 6s, I'll be writing A. So that means I'll be writing A here. So this is A. Are you seeing that? In place of this, I'll be writing A because that's what I represented S squared plus 6S. So this is A. Now open a bracket. Remember, S squared plus 6S is what? A. So I'm going to be writing A there plus 8. So you write plus 8. Now equates everything to be equal to 9. So now let's expand this bracket by using what we have outside to multiply what we have inside. So a times a gives what? a squared, right? P plus, now a times 8 gives what? 8a equal to 9. So what do we have to do? We have to move this 9 inside here. So we have a squared plus 8a when 9 crosses to the left hand side, it becomes minus 9, equal to 0. So now, we need to factorize this. Ask yourself, is this factorizable? Of course, it is. So what are the factors that we have? We have 9 times 1. But if I multiply 9 times 1, it is not going to give me negative 9. But instead, it will give me a positive 9. So what can I do to make it a negative 9? So let me make this one negative. So 9 times negative 1 gives me negative 9. And also, I can also add them to give me what? Positive 8. That means 9 plus minus 1 will give you positive 8. So this is a factor. And since it is a factor, we're going to be using it. So this is a squared. But I'm not going to be writing this middle one again, this middle item. I will not be writing it. Instead, I'll be writing the factor. So I'll be writing, this is plus 9. So plus 9. Please always accompany it with A. Then this is minus 1. So write your minus 1. Accompany that with A. Then minus 9. So you see that the factors have replaced this 8A here. So ask yourself, what is common? A is common, right? So let's bring it out. A out. Then what will remain here? A plus. 
a is already out what will remain here nine right so write in nine cool very good then i have minus here put in minus there then what is common here one is common so write in one then copy and paste this bracket which is a plus nine copy and paste it a plus nine that is it i'm supposed to be equating this to zero equal to zero that's it so i can write what is on the bracket first i have a plus nine on the bracket so write one of them a plus nine write one of them then write the remaining item that is outside this is a minus one a minus one equal to zero so we are saying that a plus nine is equal to zero that means what is on this bracket is equal to zero or we are saying what is on this other bracket which is a minus one is equal to zero are you seeing that very good very good so there is something we need to do here now so when i move plus nine to this other side what am i going to get negative nine that means a will be equal to negative nine when positive nine crosses the equal to sign to the right hand side it becomes negative nine or let's face this other side when negative one crosses to this right hand side it becomes a positive one so we're going to be solving these two cases different we we'll solve this one first then we'll come back to solve this other one so let's start with this first one remember what we said a is we said let s to power 2 plus 6s be equal to a right cool that means whenever i see a now let me put this s squared plus 6s so let's bring it back so this is a i'm going to be putting s squared plus 6s you see that so because we said s squared plus c s is equal to a so let's bring it back now so this is s squared plus c s equal to now we have negative nine so in order to make this one to be helpful let's bring this negative nine inside so we have s squared plus c s when negative nine crosses to the left hand side it becomes positive nine now equate to equal to zero very good i believe we are doing well cool so now let's solve this so this is a quadratic equation now let's ask ourselves again can we factorize now is the what are the factors of nine three times three will give you nine right cool now ask can we add this factor to give me the middle item? 3 plus 3 gives me 6, which is positive number. Correct. That means this is a good factor that we can use. So let's go. This is S squared. Remember, the factors replaces these middle items. So I'll be writing this factor. This is plus 3. So write plus 3. Always follow up with S. Now this is also plus 3. So write plus 3 follow up with s so they have replaced the 6s plus 9 equal to 0. now what is common here s is common right so bring out s now since s is out what will remain s will remain plus s is already out remember what will remain here 3. cool very good so i have plus here what is common here you will also agree with me that 3 is common, right? So bring out 3. Now copy and paste this bracket, which is s plus 3. That's it, equal to 0. Now we can go ahead and write what is on the bracket first. What is on the bracket is s plus 3. We can write it first. Then write what is outside. What is outside is s plus 3. So s plus 3 equal to zero so notice that there are two here right there are two so s plus three times s plus three is the same thing that means we're going to be taking the square of it so s plus three what square since they produce the same result equal to zero so in order to remove this square i need to take the square root of both sides so if i take the square root that means i'll be left with s plus three equal to the square roots 
It could be a plus or minus zero. So what's the square root of zero? Square root of zero is still what? Zero. Very good. So let's call it like terms. When plus three crosses to the right hand side, it becomes what? Negative three. So the value of s we got from this is negative three. So that is one value of s. So now let's go and use the other one. Remember I told you that we're going to be visiting the other one. This is just the first one. Let's visit the other one. So this is the other one we are talking about. A equal to 1. Remember what our A is? Our A is S squared plus 6S. So let's put it there. In place of A, we're going to be writing S squared plus 6S, right? That is in place of A. Now equal to 1. Are you seeing that? Cool. Cool. Now let's arrange this equation very well. By moving this plus 1 to the left hand side. And remember, when plus 1 crosses to the left hand side, it becomes what? Negative 1. So I'll have s squared plus 6s. Now positive 1 crosses to the left to become negative 1 equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation that we're going to be solving. So now ask yourself, in this quadratic equation, can we be able to factorize or can we be able to solve using factorization? Now, there is nothing we can, there is no factor here. So because there is no factor, we're going to be using the general formula. That means I'm going to be choosing what my A, B and C is. So my A here is equal to the coefficient of this S square here, which is 1. There's an invisible one here. Then my b is equal to 6. This is plus 6, so it's positive. Then c is equal to negative 1. Are you seeing that? Cool. And the general formula we are using is s equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Now divide by 2a. So now let's substitute. s is equal to negative b what is our b our b is 6 so put the 6 there plus or minus the square root of b square what is b b is 6 so we have to square that minus 4 which is this 4 here times a what is a a is 1 times c c is negative 1 so put a negative 1 there now divide by 2 times a which is 2 times a is 1 very good. So this becomes s equal to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of c squared gives you 36 minus. Now 4 times 1 is 4 times minus 1 gives you negative 4. So we have negative 4 here. Now divide by 2 times 1 gives you 2. So our s becomes negative 6 plus or minus. The square root of 36 minus times minus gives you what? Plus. So 36 plus 4 gives you 40. I'm going to have to remove some space there. So all over 2. Very good. Very good. Now we have to simplify this 40 here. Remember, we need to take the square root of 40. And 40 is 4 times 10. Are you seeing that? So 4 times 10. So let's do that here. So this is s equal to negative 6 plus or minus. Remember, 40 means 4 times 10 all over 2. So s becomes negative 6 plus or minus. What's the square root of 4? Square root of 4 is 2. Now we have root 10 inside divide by 2 very good very good so it is now time for us to split this item it's now time for us to split this item what do i mean by splitting we're going to go with the positive one first before we go with the negative so now let's do that real quick so we have s equal to minus 6 let's go with the plus first plus 2 
root 10 divide by 2 now we can split this so we have s equal to minus 6 divide by 2 are you seeing that plus now this is 2 root 10 2 root 10 divide by 2 now negative 6 divided by 2 gives negative 3 correct plus this 2 here will cancel this 2 so i have root 10 so this is a value for s i have here now let's go with the negative this time around so s is equal to we're going with the negative so i'm going to be putting all here negative 6 now we're going with this negative which is minus 2 root 10 divide by 2 so i'm going to be separating this so s is equal to negative 6 i'll divide that by 2 then minus 2 root 10 i'm also dividing it by 2 are you seeing that so negative 6 divided by 2 gives negative 3 now put your minus there 2 here will have to cancel this 2 here so what is remaining root 10 so this is our order value for s so we have three values do you remember these values one we have s to be equal to negative 3 this we have s which is this one here we have s to be equal to negative 3 plus root 10 and lastly we have negative 3 negative root 10 so these are the three solutions for s i hope you enjoyed this video and i believe that you have learned something if you have learned something and you really enjoyed this video please do not hesitate to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming video because i draw valuable videos and there is something you must learn from these videos and like i always say until next time take care